Hey guys, welcome to this video. I know you cannot see me because I'm on my laptop, but it doesn't really matter as long as the content that I'm about to share is valuable for you. So in this video, I'm going to do uh, an automation for a list of past clients, or it could be a list of leads that you have. So imagine you have a business and you have a list of your previous clients or customers, or you have a list of leads that you can reach out to if you have a new offer. So in this video, I'm going to share exactly how you set up an automation to follow up with these uh, uh with this list of people uh for or with your offer using email or using sms so it could be whatever you want but what matters is how you create the workflow which i'm about to share so for that let's start creating the workflow and then i'll show you how to add these people's uh people to uh this this workflow that we're going to create so let's head over to automation automation tutorials and i'm going to do a workflow start from scratch saying the name of the workflow will be 13 it's just how i name it don't have to name it 13 really so i'll say email follow-up for past leads or clients that's going to be our, our workflow and then we won't set a trigger now instead what we will do is we will start by setting, setting up the actions so we don't need to set up a trigger for this workflow at least not for now so the first action we want to do is assign to user which is a good practice to assign the users, uh, the, the, the assign to the leads to a user. So the next thing we're going to do is uh, add an action called drip. So drip is basically adding uh, 50 people and doing it every 20 minutes. So basically what we are doing is when we add a list of people to this workflow, we will be sending 50 emails or 50 SMS at once. We don't want to be sending like thousands of emails or thousands of SMS at once and get, you know, blacklisted or something. So we want to just send small batches at once every 20 minutes. So sending 50 every 20 minutes is fine. So this action should be followed by either an email or an SMS. So I'm going to do an email and it could be Zeeb and it will be sent from my email. So uh, assuming I'm the business owner, I'm reaching out to all these people from me, from my email address, and this will be an exciting offer. So this will be my first follow-up to these people. I'm, I'm reaching out with my first email that includes the first offer. So hi, contact name. It's been a while since we last talked. How's everything going? I have an amazing offer for you please uh reach out if you are interested you right so that's basically my offer so i don't want to share the offer i want them to reply and then i'll give them the offer right so it, it could be anything you want in your workflow so what i'm doing is i'm assigning the user i'm uh, setting up a drip and then i'm sending the first email so this is my email one I'm calling it email one and next thing we're going to do is we're going to wait wait for a time delay instead we are going to wait for contact to reply reply to what really so reply to email one so here instead of wait delay we are selecting contact reply reply to email one and we're going to set a timeout of one day so basically we're checking if the contact replies to my first email and we're checking that for a day one day for contact reply that's it so we are waiting here now we're going to check if the contact has replied so we're going to say if if uh, the condition will be replied so has the contact replied is my condition so if it's yes positive it could be a positive reply so we are checking if the contact reply intent type is positive so we can check the system can check if the intent of the reply that the contact has sent through is positive uh, it could be yes or it could be yeah it could be I'm interested it could be anything so the system finds out what it is what the intent of it is so we are gonna add a new branch called not positive so we will check if if the contact reply intent type is not 
positive so we're checking everything else through this branch uh, other than positive really and none means not replied so if they don't reply for a day this uh, they go through this branch so if we save it it's gonna create three branches for you and now they replied positive right so assuming someone replied I'm interested they're gonna go this branch they're gonna come down here and they're gonna receive an email uh, reply it can be sent from me it's gonna be sent from my email uh, awesome thanks I will reach out to you shortly and you could do like email body I'm not writing the whole email for you you can fill it out yourself so that's my email reply to whoever actually uh, replied positively next thing you're gonna want to do is send yourself a notification and this could be sent from the CRM this could be sent from this uh, user type doesn't matter oh you it does matter sorry uh, so we could say contact dot full name replied positively on the email follow-up hi please check conversation that makes more sense for all right something like that and we, what you want to do is you want to wait for a minute before you actually send the reply to the person otherwise they're going to freak out saying that i just replied how am i getting a reply back now so we don't want to tell them that, that this is a automated text so if it's not positive you may or may not want to see what they replied I'm, I'm choosing not to receive any notification if their reply was not positive because it doesn't really matter to me but you can actually set up a notification if you want to send to yourself just to see what the reply was if they did not reply what we're gonna do is we're gonna just copy another drip so copy action i'm copying this drip and putting it here and again i'm gonna put the email here so i'm sending the second email on day two the second email uh, this is my second email really so this could be filled out by you uh, you could just chat gpt text of the email and that's my second email and again we are waiting for a day for the second reply right so wait for one day and this time we're checking email two if they reply to email two and we are checking it for a day really so again if replied uh, positive so contact reply intent type is positive if it's a negative, I mean not positive, I could say contact replied, sorry, intent type is, is not positive, not replied, you know. So if the, if the reply was positive, what you could do is you could add a new action saying go to. So what we will do is we will just if they reply positive think about it we could just perform all these automations because this is literally what goes out or what gets performed when the reply is positive so we could just go to this step i'll just click wait so basically they reply to email too and it goes to waiting for a minute and then the email goes out saying that awesome i'll reach out to you soon and then you receive the notification uh, that someone replied positively so that's basically what happens if they don't reply or if, if they're they have not a, like a not positive reply you just leave it i'm leaving it here if they do not reply we could just copy all these actions from here now from starting from drip two and paste it here so again drip mode email three this will be the email three this is my third email you could fill it out and then wait for one day 
or what email three this time we are waiting for email three and then reply positive negative goes to if positive it goes to same old same old waiting replying that i will reach out to you soon in, uh, internal notification to yourself that's it and if uh, even after three emails they didn't reply i just want to leave it there that's the end of my follow-up so basically this process is known as database reactivation and that's pretty much it for the follow-up campaign we just created it and now in order to add it i'll show you so you need to have the list of clients or list of leads in a csv format so in a csv file if you have it just go to contacts and then just say import contacts upload a file and upload the list from here next all you need to do is just map out the fields mapping means the column first name of that csv file needs to match the first name field in high level similarly for last name it needs to match it company name address uh, the stuff you don't want you could just do don't import data in unmatched columns so if you don't want to import anything you could just leave it by checking this box and you could give it an import name what i want to do is i want to go to advanced and i want to add a new contact to workflow or campaign so i'll just give it the name 13 uh, email follow-up for past leads or clients so i'm going to select this one and i'm going to say i confirm and i uh, just hit submit it's going to instantly import all these contacts and then start the drip or start the email follow-up for all these contacts so if you do have a list of contacts already uploaded here what you could just do is you could just select all of them or maybe put filters and then select all of them uh, depending on how you want it and then just go to add to workflow okay proceed and then type the name of the workflow email follow up for yep that's it and you can add all at once or add at a scheduled time you don't need to add in drip mode because we have uh, implemented the drip in the workflow itself so we don't have to select in uh, add in drip mode and give it an action name start on what uh, just just go with the flow and then that's it add to automation so that's how you create an email follow-up and uh, add a list of clients or add a list of leads to do marketing with your uh, exciting offer so i hope this video was helpful make sure you subscribe and i will see you in the next one